Dead Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We are here for, uh, my dog came in from outside. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are diving into some more surgery. Got some good stuff going on. I figured we'd take it into My Damn Kitchen for this iteration and this episode as we set it up here. If, if you guys are paying attention, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you can do so at My Damn Toys. But I posted up the other day that my Walmart had four sets of Elite Series 86, the new SummerSlam Wave. They had four Fiends. They had four Seth Rollins. They had the Chase Triple H. And my idiot self with my 77. Seth Rollins Elite said, you know what, Brad? I'm going to buy all four of these Elite 86s, and I don't know what's wrong with me. Someone help me. But today, ladies and gentlemen, you guys can see we do have all four of them mint on package right here. I'm going to crack these out of the packaging, and we got some cool Seth Rollins fix-ups we're going to make. We have a sick Randy Orton fix-up that we're going to make, and I'm really excited for it. I think we got some good stuff. I took it to the kitchen because if you guys watched the last episode of My Damn, My Damn Surgery, if you guys watched the last episode of Action Figure Surgery, you guys will notice that my hair dryer melted the plastic of two of my figures and I don't want that to happen here today and I kind of figured we could switch it up a little bit and we do have to do a torso crack so I figured what better way than to move into the my damn kitchen fill up this bowl full of water heat it up get some surgery going and showcase everything that we're going to do so for the first thing being as our business I don't know what the hell I just said we're going to take this elite Randy Orton and basically we're going to modernize this legend killer Randy Orton and we're going to torso swap both of these guys I think putting the updated tattoos and the head sculpted everything onto these blue trunks with the gold trim is going to be really sweet. I think that'll be an excellent fix up so we are going to do that and that is going to require a torso crack. Not really looking forward to it. You know, uh, I've gotten better at torso cracking but it always scares me just a little bit and it kind of sucks because I'm probably going to have to do the same thing when they make the Dead Gum Elite 90 or whatever it is with the white gear from Wrestlemania. That's another thing that's kind of ishy but we can cover that when we get to it guys but you guys will see all of these Seth Rollins Elites in the background. I feel like uh, I have a lot of this head Head sculpt. We are going to put this head sculpt, like the Summer Slam, or not the Summer Slam, but the Top Picks Smiley Seth Rollins head sculpt. We're going to put one of these onto the, one of the pink ones for sure. But putting on the Man Bun Rollins from one of those on here is going to be really sweet. I can't wait to see what that looks like. We're not only going to do it for this figure, but we're also going to do it for this figure with the Burn It Down t-shirt, mind you. Don't forget about the Burn It Down t-shirt. We're also going to do it to this Summer Slam Elite, but we're also going to take these arms. You guys can see that these are Elite 37 Seth Rollins arms. We're going to take those off and put these on for the interchangeable hands and the black wrist tape. And they're a little bit beefier. They make it look better. Also, we're going to take these SummerSlam arms that I had in my fodder box and put them back onto this Rollins because that'll make that figure look a lot better with that man bun head sculpt with the red arms, red attire. Should look really sweet. Also, guys, we're also going to take this sleeveless Rollins and I don't know which one I want to put on there. Do I want to put the regular man bun onto this one or do I want to put the new battle pack that we got from our toy hunt on there? I don't know or if I want to take this head sculpt and just put it on one of the pink elites. You know, they're going to be, a lot of them are going to be headless after this because I'm not going to head swap them. I'm going to wait a little bit, see what I can do and everything like that. So I don't know, man. We'll figure it out. We got to throw all these guys into the water anyways and just kind of see what we're messing with and everything like that. But we won't know until we fill up the bowl full of water, heat it up and crack all of these Rollins behind there out of their packaging. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead, fill our bowl up with water, put it in the microwave. And while that is microwaving, I guess I will open up the Rollins in the background as you guys see. Let's go ahead and just heat this up. Well, you got to put water in it first. Just like that. I'm going to put that thing in there for five minutes and that should be good to go. That's about, uh, about how long I heat it up for. Now we open some Rollins. All right, guys, retrieving the bowl from the microwave. Be very careful. Use a rag or an adult to help you or you may want to just boil water on the stove top. A lot of people do that too, but Adding the water into frame, as you guys can see right there. You guys can see all of our Rollins unpackaged. What we're going to do is go ahead, remove the accessories. Remember, we made this mistake last time on surgery. Go ahead, remove your rubber accessories. That's an Elite 37 Rollins vest right there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and plop this Rollins head in there like so. We're going to pop this Rollins head down in there and the arms as well. We also need to go ahead and put these arms in there. God, are we even going to have the room to do it? 
I'm gonna have to pull this shirt off of this Rollins, flop his head in there. We're gonna have just a bunch of Duncan Rollins just going around here. And I don't even know if we're gonna have enough room for the freaking Randy Orton's. Are we even gonna have the room, Brad? Uh, I don't even, should I even take this fur off of the, of this Rollins? I guess I should. Go ahead, remove that. Go ahead, it's best to just go ahead and remove all your Rollins head sculpts or any, any rubber accessories, I'm sorry. You might as well go ahead and do that. And I don't even know if these Rollins heads are even going to fit in here. I don't remember how we did it last time on that one episode of surgery with all the Rollins in it, but we stuck all their heads in there. You just don't want them to be uneven, you know what I'm saying? Like, if they're all gonna be in there, you might as well get all of them in there. That way they can all get enough heat. All right, there's only one missing. We also didn't get, like, look at this. What in, what in the hell is this? There's like nine Rollins in here. We have one missing, and we also have a Randy Orton's that we didn't get, so that sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. We'll figure it out at the end of the time there. But I'm gonna let that sit in there for a few. Let it get the head scans really loose and heat it up. That way they will pop off with no effort whatsoever. And then we will add the, the Randy Orton in there, let that soak. And then we will also add the last Rollins. Now, once these Rollins... Rollins are headless. Like, once these pink Rollins are headless, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I don't know. Like, I guess they could be fantasy gears or, or something. I'll play around with them for sure. We'll figure out something. I wanted to do something where we made, like, an all pink gear, like the kick pads, the knee pads, everything. I don't know how I'm gonna do that just yet, but I'm gonna move this back a little, and then I'm gonna lay this out flat, and then bring this over here. All right, that should be good right there. And, all right, we should be good. Let's just go ahead and find out. I'm gonna pull out the first one. I use this towel, usually, like, padded dry dry like so and it pops off like that so there we go we got one Rollins head sculpt second Rollins head sculpt so the good thing about this is you don't have to worry about your plastic melting all right I don't think so at least that's that's what I like to think. Third Rollins head sculpt. See, that one's got like a skin tone peg that's interesting all right we might as well add the last one in there as well while we pull off the others all right on this one Holy Santa, that is hot. All right, got that head sculpt off. All right, I guess I could just pop this head sculpt onto one of these. That should look pretty cool. We'll, we'll check that out at the end. And then our SummerSlam Rollins. Plop that head sculpt off. Now we got an extra one of those. Now we can plop on our other head from the pink Rollins, just like that. And these arms are coming off, right? These arms are coming off and going onto our Elite 64. All right, that Rollins just fell out. Pull its head off like that. Jesus, that hurt a little bit. All right, plopping the man bun onto the top talents like that right there. Very nice. Moving on. Got to pull off the smiley head sculpt. God, that one's on fire. Plop on or take off the Elite 37 arms. Ah! Put on the interchangeable black wrist tape arms. I hate how loosey-goosey the figures get, but after some time cooling off, they will return to their normal temperature and everything like that. And then we have the other man bun. Pop that on here, just like that. Oh yeah, I think we got, we got some special things going on here, young man. Then we got battle pack head. Plop that onto one of the pink ones, just like that. Very nice. Get rid of the basic. Then we have this. We might as well go ahead and add our Randy Orton as well. Hopefully the water's still hot enough, but we gotta pop off the screaming head sculpt. One of my least favorite Rollins head sculpts ever. When it first released, it was awesome, and then they made like 152 of them. So that'll go to our extras, and then we can pop on the last man bun head sculpt onto that Messiah style body, which we could have put the battle pack head sculpt on there, but I'm gonna roll with this, and we'll just see what comes of that. All right, now we gotta fish these arms out of here, and I really don't look forward to that, but hopefully it won't be that challenging. I got a little mini screwdriver right here for the torso crack. Just pull these arms out right here like that, and then plop that arm on, and that arm on and wallabushka all right now we have a ton of rollins elite fix-ups our randy orders are still cooking here we have our two pink elites left over we have like these head sculpts like we have the screaming head sculpt we have the smiley head sculpt and we have this top talent smiling head sculpt that everybody loves but i don't know man i'll probably leave them headless for now they'll be good fodder pieces or other fix-ups we can make but for the moment i'm gonna leave them like that we do have to add our accessories back to our other figures so while those cool off and i have to put these back on the 
the thing. I'm gonna wait on these Randy Orton's a little bit, then I'm gonna pull them out and torso crack them. So gotta give me a minute. All right, guys, let's see what we got going on. Hopefully, I'll be able to torso crack these without any issues. I mean, who knows at this juncture, man? Kind of afraid. I really only care about the about this torso. Don't really care so much about this one because if this one doesn't work, then it's not the end of the world because uh, that's not the you know. I, I guess I could put this one onto there, but I'm more worried about getting the tattoos onto this torso. Yeah, I think I gotta heat up the water more. Son of a bitch. All right, guys, so taking a look at everything we did here today on action figure surgery or whatever the hell you want to call this, man. I feel like it was a surgery. I mean, we did a lot of stuff here. We were in the kitchen. I mean, what do you want to say? I couldn't get the torso crack. It required a lot of time, and also my son was coming in and out of the kitchen. It kind of messed up the video a few times there. Difficult to hear, a lot of stuff going on, so I do apologize for that. However, I think everything that we got going on here today, man, was pretty successful. You got all the different head swaps slash fix-ups with the Seth Rollins. The Randy Orton looks fantastic. Let's go ahead and run through the Seth Rollins fix-ups and then we will get through our Randy Orton right here. So the first two are the Elite 86 fix-ups and that is the Battle Pack head sculpt on the Elite 86. Really like the way this came out. I love it. It's pretty much the top talents head sculpt with, it's pretty much this head sculpt with the man bun. It's kind of a morph between those two head sculpts and I think it looks really good. Here's the hair down as well. So I guess now this could serve as a hair up, hair down version that we did last time. You guys know that we had the serious head sculpt which are featured back there with the hair up and hair down. Now we have the other way so that's pretty cool so now in total i have like seven copies of this figure somebody please help help me please so those two look really awesome we also have our monday night messiah sort of fix up here now the battle pack head sculpt could have went on this and kind of made it like a you know like a conversion to an elite but i like this you know it looks good and everything love this head sculpt messiah t-shirt gloved hand and everything black attire from the top talents no paint no nothing like that so that's awesome this one turned out great i love the way this looks the elite 37 vest with the man bun and the all black gear it does have the red knee pad but it still sticks out very nice you got the srs on the on the sides of the gauntlets there that look really sick if this knee pad had a had a white logo on it i think it would look even dope or if these had red on it or if this had some red featured in it it still looks sick af i love the way that came out it dude that is just it, it came out exactly how i imagined it that is awesome the all black gear with the bl the vest looks so sick we also have the SummerSlam figure so the red wrist tape there with the man bun and the red SummerSlam gear from 2017 which makes me sick to even think about but there is that Rollins that looks absolutely incredible as well we also have the burn it down Rollins with the t-shirt and the man bun sort of like a backstage promo gear with the flames attire that also looks sick and then last but not least ladies and gentlemen we have the Randy Orton right here now I could not get the other so what I ended up doing was just switching the upper torso because the lower torso is the exact same and it turned out it was a pretty clean crack like I don't see any gappage really in this sides look really good the, the ab crunch is still there so that worked out perfectly love the way this came out like the head sculpt and the arms and the blue trunks and everything look fantastic can't wait to do more orton fix-ups and stuff we'll probably have to do this again once we, like what sucks about getting double jointed arms now on our figures is having to torso crack the upper part and then once we do these new fix-ups and then they get re-released as double jointed arms we're gonna have to redo those fix-ups and crack the upper torso switch out the arms or the shoulders and then the arms for the double jointed because you guys know the new randy orton will have double jointed arms and if i want to have this gear with the double jointed arms i'm gonna have to do a completely different torso crack and all these crazy different things so that will be really fun once we get there psych but here we go let's go ahead i want to show you guys all these pink rollins that we have right quick so we have all the fix-ups that we did right we have uh the orton the one rollins the two rollins the three rollins the four rollins and then you have the battle pack fix up the top talents fix up the serious during match SummerSlam with the messiah graphic the pre-match entrance rollins with the messiah graphic you have the fantasy gear where we acetoned all the question marks off and have no gloves on there it's kind of like a baby face style Rollins with his older gear where it was just long tights in pink and then we have the two ones that did not get any head swaps we have the two headless Rollins so there you go yes yeah, seven Rollins all the same and that's not counting the uh, the whole shelf up there and so you have these seven you have the fix-ups behind you there with the four and then you have the countless just help me Jesus in heaven but before we get out of here guys let's get into our random shot out. And this shout out is going to go to Faded G2000 who says, to be quite honest, I backed the project after the Macho announcement just because I can tell that the team really cares about this project and the reasoning behind the addition is more on the passion side than monetary. And that's a true statement, man, because uh, yeah, they got rid of some of the marketing budget just so that they could add in that Macho Man. I don't know if they're going to be adding anything else. I think it would be really cool if they did, but right now we're sitting at over 2,000 backers on the project. It's at 2012, I think, at time of recording. 2013, I'm sorry, I just went up 
one after a refresh. 40% funded, almost to the halfway point, but we still have a little ways to go. But a huge shout out to you, man, for the comment. I agree with I agree with you. That's kind of why I want to back it two or three times. I'm still debating if I want to do that or not. You know, just a lot of things up in the air right now. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think of the surgery down below. Have you found Elite 86? Obviously, I did. Jeez. Don't cross the line like I did when I when I bought this many Rollins. You crossed the line.